In the summer of 1999, India and Pakistan fought their last war, the Kargil War. Pakistan tried to capture Indian military posts. New Delhi hit back, taking control of all the territories. The war went on for two months. In the end, India emerged victorious, sending a message to the entire world, a message on how India could defend its borders. 24 years later, as India marks Kargil, Kargil Vijay Divas, we look at how the war changed India and its military and what India-Pakistan ties look like two decades after the war. The Kargil War had a lot of firsts and lasts. It was the first war to be fought in the era of satellite TV channels, so emotions were running high. It was also the last war that India and Pakistan fought, one that changed the way the Indian military functions. The war broke out in May 1999. Pakistan made a surprise move. It infiltrated Indian-controlled positions along the LOC. That's the line of control. So Pakistan captured strategic heights in the Kargil, a move that caught India off guard. Pakistan had just conducted its nuclear tests a year before, so they thought India would be scared. Its response would be muted, but they were wrong. What followed was a war that went on for two months. In the end, India emerged victorious. We never started the war, but we did end it with a resounding message that India would do anything to defend its borders. 24 years later, the Kargil War serves as a reminder of how far India has come, both militarily and diplomatically. In 1999, the Indian Army suffered at the hands of Pakistani artillery at Kargil. India wanted GPS data of the region, but the US, who controlled GPS then, refused. This later turned into one of India's mega-projects, developing its own satellite navigation system. It's called the NAVIC. It provides India with real-time positioning and timing services. The war forced India to modernize its military infrastructure, to look within. India ramped up border infrastructure, focus on military enhancement, and pushed for more made-in-India defense equipment. The idea was to become self-reliant, to never depend on anyone again. Kargil was the last war India fought with Pakistan. So how have things changed 24 years on? The two countries are still neighbors. No one can change the geography. But are India and Pakistan better neighbors? The two continue to clash over Kashmir. In 2019, relations dipped to an all-time low. A terrorist attack in Pulwama killed 40. India responded with airstrikes in Pakistan's Balakot. Things looked tense. There were murmurs of war. But it never came down to that. In 2022, however, there was some sort of a silver lining. Pakistan was dealing with devastating floods. India offered condolences. This year, Pakistan's foreign minister visited Goa. He was here for an SCO meet. In October, India will host the Pakistan cricket team for the ICC World Cup. The match will take place in Ahmedabad. So where do relations stand right now? India wants better relations with Pakistan. But for that, it must keep terrorism in check. Pakistan, on the other hand, must deal with its internal politics first. Could the two neighbours have better relations? We won't hold our breath for that.